Now for the pixie cut wig, I use my Milky Way Saga 27 piece deluxe wig cap of argon oil, a Salon Pro 30 second glue, a paper towel for any mess, and my mannequin head on the stand. Do not judge my mannequin head, it's went through a lot. <laughs> so in the Milky Way Saga 27 piece pack, um, you will see that it comes in three sections. When you open it up, you have right there the closure piece and you at the bottom, oop, one fail, but you have the medium length and you have also the long length and what I just picked up is the short length of hair. You open up the bottom part and it comes with its own plastic cap and also wig cap. So to begin the wig cap, you're going to take the shortest strand of the weave and you're going to unravel it and you're going to place it at the bottom end of the cap. I personally measured um, the track of weave before I placed it on just to make sure it would properly fit at the bottom because I didn't want it too long, but it's up to your preference. So now I'm taking the 30 second glue and I'm just going to place it all over the top or end of the track. And you're going to gently place that track at the bottom end of the wig cap. Place it. I like to place it down slowly just so I can make sure I get it on there real nice and lay down properly. So now that that first track has already been laid, I'm going to take a second track of the same length and I'm going to place it on the cap and you're just going to keep repeating the process to get towards like that line on the cap. At this point, I'm now using the medium length hair and I like to use the flat iron to take the curl out of it so we can lay down properly. Now this is where I am now at this stage where I've now covered the line. As I progress, you see that I'm using the same technique as before, just lining up the tracks going up, up, and up. And you see I place a bobbin pin at the top of the wig cap, which is where I'm going to place the closure at. At this point, I'm getting closer and closer to the top of the wig cap, to the top pin that you see up there. And if you notice that big old space in the front, that is for the bang, which is crucial that you take that part slow because it can either make or break how your wig cap turns out. So for the bang, I use two tracks of the medium length hair, and then I use the longer length of hair to close that gap. After that, I used a couple of tracks from a past weave, which are a little bit longer tracks so that the, my bang could be um, more put together and less staggered with the short and the longer pieces so that it would just flow. And then after that, I began to fill in the back of the wig cap with the medium length hair so that I can close in that circle towards the top of that pin. So now we have reached the top of the wig cap and we have a small little circle. I'm going to take that little closure piece that was found in the pack of hair. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to place it at the top of the head. But before I do that, I like to cut it, the net that comes on the hair to make sure it fits, put some glue on it, and place it at the top of the head.
So the closure piece was not working with me y'all. So I put some more glue on it and, and really pressed it down hard. And to ensure that the closure piece will stay on, I decided to use the blow dryer to speed up the process. So now we're at the point where we're going to style the hair. I cut the big length of hair towards the top where my bang is at, just so I can style it and, and do it to my liking. But this is basically how it looks before I get down to the nitty gritty of the styling of the hair. I decided to shape up the back using some clippers, just so it wouldn't look too wiggy and too bulky. And after I'm done with that, I place it on my head and this is time where you can really have fun with the wig. It's on your head, do it up how you want to do it, show your personality off, have some fun. I personally like to have long bangs sometimes because I like the little flowy look, I like to play it up if I want to. And this is the final result of the pixie wig. Look at them sides, look at that back, look at the other side, look at them bangs. You can style the bangs however you want it. This is my preference. And it's just wonderful. I just love the way it turned out. And that's the beauty part of making your own pixie wig. You can do it how you like. Dance with a girl, yes. You can do what you want with it. Also, you can make your very own bob out of long weave. You don't have to cut your hair. That's the beauty part of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Bye guys.